need something? Is it okay if I go riding? Nope. I took a bridle apart, oiled the pieces, and left them in that can on the shelf. You can't ride till you get the bridle put back together right. I put the bit next to the can. Talk to you later. No hurry. Okay, there's the head stall. Now, let's see. That looks right. I'm getting there. That looks right. This goes here. Perfect. Need something? I put that bridle back together. Now may I go riding? Yep. Talk to you later. Yahoo. Come on, Bob. Good boy. The stuff I saw in here before is gone. Looks like I scared somebody off. Maybe this is the key to the jail cell. I'm in the jail cell. I'll bet that's the key. So far, so good. I'm getting there. Very good! Underbank lamp. I'm locked in! I need a rope.
I have enough of those. Come to Mama! Whoever clobbered me must have dropped this. To hide a message, take the last two letters of a word, reverse them, and then add them to the start of the word. Use these pictures in place of the word. Anyone talks about this, they get a load of buckshot. Dirk. To hide a message. There's a letter down there. Did you know you can play some games more than one way? You can, and I'll tell you how. Use the ring that's the twin of Ellie's your cousin in Cappy's Fun Machine now. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? Did your great aunt, by any chance, leave you a ring? Sure did. It was her most prized possession. In fact, I got it right here. Seems to me Aunt Ellie said Francis had one just like it. I keep it on me for good luck. I know this is a lot to ask, but do you think I could borrow it for a while? Borrow it? What for? It's kind of a long story. Just take care of it, okay? Last time I was in the ghost town, somebody clobbered me over the head and locked me up in the old jail. That's terrible. Did you see who did it? No, I never got a look at him, or her, or them, or whatever. You shouldn't go there anymore, Nancy. Something bad's obviously going on, and you should just stay away. And call the sheriff, of course. I'll let you get back to work. Take care. Hernandez. Hello, Sheriff. It's Nancy Drew again. Hello, Nancy. Driving out the Shadow Ranch is getting to be a nightly thing for me. You got power out there yet? No, but fortunately we have a generator. So what can I do for you? When I was in the ghost town this morning, someone knocked me out, then locked me in a jail cell. Are you all right? I managed to escape, but I'm more convinced than ever that someone's been hiding out there. Someone who ties in with what's been happening at Shadow Ranch. Did you see anyone? Unfortunately, no. Well, I'll take a drive up there and look around first chance I get, okay? Thanks for your help. You bet. Hello? Hi, Aunt Bet. Nancy, Dave called and told us what happened. Are you all right? I'm fine. Shorty called, too. He was practically beside himself. Thank goodness you have that generator. Tell her, Bet. I was just going to, Ed. 
Nancy, dear. Things at the ranch seem to be going from bad to worse. And Ed and I just don't think it's safe for you to be there anymore. No, I'm fine, really. We're sending you home this afternoon. No, Aunt Bet, really. I'm not in any danger here. But Shorty said... You know how Shorty is. He worries too much. And I'm this close to finding out who's responsible for the sabotage. Just let me stay one more day, all right? All right. One more day. Thank you, Aunt Bet. How's Uncle Ed? He's still running a fever. But of course for you to ask him how he is. I'm fine. He promised me you'll be careful, Nancy. I'll be careful, I promise. Then we'll see you soon. Need something? May I go riding again? Oh, Bob's all yours. Talk to you later. No hurry. Come on, Bob. Ugh. <sighs> 